brother Kyle. Since 1960, more than one million whites have left New York City. The black and Hispanic population has grown by almost one million, and it's still growing. This is Rosedale, a community of 6,000 families in the far southeastern pocket of the borough of Queens. To the passing eye, it seems quiet. Modest one and two family homes with fenced in lawns and tree shaded streets. The people who live here are almost all white, working class Americans of Italian, Irish, and Jewish roots. They've worked all their lives to afford these homes. Many came from the inner city, refugees from neighborhoods in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and South Jamaica. Neighborhoods they saw changing and dangerous to live in. These people saved their money and made their escape to what they call the last frontier in New York City. To Rosedale, to what they hoped would be a safe and quiet life. In the early 1970s, a few middle-class black families with very much the same idea in mind began to move to Rosedale too. The whites saw their coming as a threat, the forerunner of more blacks bringing crime, blight, and poor services they had witnessed in other neighborhoods in the city. And the peace of Rosedale was shattered. In 1971, a score of men and teenage boys using axes and picks nearly destroyed a house reportedly bought by a black man married to a white woman. 200 residents stood by and watched. Since then, more than 10 acts of violence have been aimed at the few blacks living in Rosedale. The tension escalated with the coming of the Spencers. In the summer of 74, Tony and Linda Spencer bought this seven-room house on 136th Avenue. They came to New York from the West Indies after living in London. Spencer, a photo engraver in Manhattan, said they just wanted a good place to live. But some whites suspected them of blockbusting, of trying to force lower property values on Rosedale homes so other blacks could afford to buy here. Before the Spencers moved in, their house was set on fire with gasoline. They moved anyway. On New Year's Eve day a year ago, while the Spencers and their sons slept, a pipe bomb exploded on the porch and smashed through the windows of the house. Police said the bomb was intended to wipe out the family. Attached to the bomb was a note that read, Nigger be warned, we have time. We will get your firstborn first. It was signed, Viva Boston, KKK.
push them out their neighborhood and throw watch and start hitting them. We don't follow the white people around our neighborhood, but when we get in a white neighborhood, they, they just push us out. Yeah. Everybody was a sister. that it's totally the kids fault I mean I'm sure their parents had some rearing on the way they feel and everything else I think it's just the system I don't know I can't say that I hate them better better ball better get them do you forgive them? no no oh no can't take back no hurt they go they go always do that they always sit on us like you some dog they always go back on this ain't nothing Greetings, Israelites and Gentiles. I'm coming to you this morning better ball, better get on a blessed day. This was a very blessed Sabbath and weekend. What did we see? What did we learn? What did we manifest? Well, I could tell you how my Friday was. I am off on those days typically pretty much all the time um, the love I received from my people I just want to say the water to you in Hebrew that means uh, thank you for the compliments that was given to my wife my rib myself brothers and sisters smelling good looking good Gentiles that called and showed love I just want to say thank you my people are waking up but I still see some of my people they are awakened coming into the unity of love but I just want to say awake to the truth and come in unity with the nation video that I showed are for those Gentiles the spirit that I felt from you on Friday it wasn't pleasant I can tell that you don't like the way things are going I can see that you never did like when we grew in number you never did like when the Most High was multiplying us. Why is the question that I ask? And this question was answered one in the morning. It's because you've been trying to kill us all these years and you can't understand how we still rise. You must know we are the people. You must understand that we are a loving and forgiving people. But you must understand the time that we are in. The time that we are in is a time of chastisement, a time of judgment, a time of renewal. We are in a time. Better ball, better get there. However, I leave with my people saying that I love you, I pray for you, and I salute you. That is to the Israelites and Gentiles who are one in Christ. But to those who still have their head down, contemplating what is going on, let me help you. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Be ye baptized for your sins and renew your mind 
and come into the faith and learn from your brothers. Blessings and peace. Sir, you make me sick to my stomach with that. Because at the same time that you were fighting, you were not fighting for the freedom and independence of black people. Soldiers, black soldiers in segregated companies lost their lives on foreign soil there, but would have to come back and fight just to get a fight to eat. Looking at life through my rear view. Make adjustments just so you can get a clear view. Crash. On this road, I'm getting sleepy, plus the side is getting cold. But it's just something that you gotta stick to. I wish I could switch my occupation. But between the clicks is always a situation. It says that light has no fellowship with dogs, so in other words, what does God have to do with Satan? People fighting for their lives. Meanwhile, people fighting just to die. While we out here fighting against the lies. So in this series, we fight to survive. Our minds polluted with iniquity. Stomach hurts just from all that they did to me. And I'm just giving truth in my rhymes, so for that We'll be persecuted before they sentence me Why oh why oh why They killing us, keeping us in our depression Why oh why oh why Why can't they just give up and let us be Why oh why oh why They telling us lies, keep us under oppression Why oh why oh why it's obviously the ops never gonna make a change Poverty stricken got us at the bottom of the food chain The people with the power, you know they hella hate you Give you a couple of dollars, make your statements, they depopulate you Doing right up in this world, seem like you dead wrong That's just how they leave you when the righteous try to stand strong Don't trip still, execute the plan route Kingdom on the other side is truth until we exit out It's a sad situation, they gotta stress it in Individually fighting these demons of the enemy on point with the knowledge is what it's gotta be And on me it's a high end till they bury me Never fold, never crack, never give up Never denounce him who said the sun to save us It's been a long time coming, hope you learned your lesson Now that's how you break the shackles of oppression God bless you Why oh why oh why They killing us, keeping us in our depression Why oh why oh why Why can't they just give up and let us be Why oh why oh why Telling us lies keep us under oppression. Oh, why, oh, why? Can't wait till the most I come set us free. Set us free.